hi welcome to my channel this is dizzy slay mua today is going to be a very special video for me because i am doing a step-by-step walkthrough tutorial on the look that i helped my class achieve at dizzy slay's first slay camp so we're going to use all the materials that everyone got in their um slay sets slay bags oh slay bags this kind of sounds sanity i like it though so we're going to use that bh cosmetics palette i'm going to show you how to use the white gold again as well as putting on these chunky glitters and how i applied my face product everything 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 okay this is an everything video if you did not take my um slay camp this video is still for you it is still beginner friendly and i'm going to walk through a lot of it so we're going to go step by step I'm gonna show you how to get a natural daytime look using only, I think, maybe three shades. That's it, that's all you need. You don't need to do a lot when you just want a natural look. And then also how to turn that natural look into a nighttime look in case you get called to go out later. You know why we'd get called to go out later, right? $2 Tuesdays, weirdos, what are you guys talking about? So yes, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to take a natural look and turn it into a nighttime something like this, like damn, so you're going out, one of those. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. All right, so I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe. This is our Neutrogena makeup wipe and I'm just gonna go over my face real quick and cleanse it. I'm dirty, don't judge me. Now I'm going in with a setting powder over my brows. This is how I like to prep them before I pencil them in. This is the Micro Brow Pencil by Morphe. I'm in the shade Chocolate Mousse. So I brush them into place and then I trace right on top of where my bottom hairs are. I'm not going below my hairs, I'm not going above them, I'm going right on top of my brows. Now after I trace the bottom, I like to start in the middle at the top and I'll connect it to the end. And then I'm going to fill it in. You want to make the pencil strokes go in the same direction that your hairs are growing in. So on this back part, you're not gonna go up and down. You're gonna go more like on a diagonal slant. Now where we didn't take it all the way over at the top, we're going to start at the bottom and go up. We're gonna do upstrokes. Is that a word? It is now. Now peep the difference, okay? Okay. Now I am taking my concealer. I like to put it on this um, mirrored tray to work with instead of my hand so I don't make a mess. And I'm cleaning up my brows. This is gonna make them look nice and clean. They gonna look fresh like I just came out the shop. Now that our brows are done, I'm taking the Moira Mega Concealer. This is my favorite thing to base my eyelids with before I put on my shadow. So I'm going over my eyelid. This is in the color, this is number five. <laughs> yes, this is Moira Mega Concealer number five. Okay, so remember in class, we had the three brushes that we worked with. We had the one brush to apply with, that was our pink brush. Then we had another brush to blend with, that was our blue brush. And then we had our lid and pigment brush, that was the flat one, and it was white. So I'm going to start how we did the class. I'm gonna start with our pink brush, our... Let's start with the pink brush. <laughs> Now this is the brush to uh, apply a color. I am going right in my crease, starting at the outside of my eyeball, going up my crease to about halfway across my eye. 
Now that we apply that color, grab our blending brush and just buff out the edges. Remember, we were doing little circular motions. I'm gonna blend till I can't no more. If you didn't take my class, that is fine. You still wanna get a brush to apply color with and then a brush to blend your shades out, to buff your shades out. That way when you go to put another shade on top, you don't see a harsh line where one starts and one stops. Now the next color we're using, it's like right in the middle of our palette. It's like a peachy color. And I'm going right on top of, right above where we just put that first color. I'm placing that color right on top. Blending brush now. All right, now back in with that first shade. And I'm going to start to bring that color onto my lid. Almost on like a, a slant on a diagonal, a little slant. Back with our blending brush, we're gonna now blend that color onto our lid. It looks crazy. Blending with the blending brush. Now we're going back in again with that little peachy color. And this time we're going in with our blending brush because we're just gonna need a little bit of that color to go where we just put the dark. So we're gonna apply it in the circular motions. Now, back in our palette, this time we're going with our flat brush. And remember, we wanted to find a shade that was a little bit closer to our complexion, but you know, you still wanted to go with the look. So I'm gonna go in with the second one over here on the end. So down one, right there. Now here, I'm not using circular motions, as you can see. I'm literally just like wiping or swiping this shade right on our lid. Alright, and this was our natural eye look. So I'm gonna do the eyeliner how we did. Um, for some reason I can't find the liner that uh, I had for class. That was our Ruby Kisses one. That one's a little bit easier to hold the handle. So I'm going in with my NYX Cosmetic Liquid Liner. And remember we just did a thin line. We're painting our lashes. Like you just wanna do a line right over top of your eyelashes. If it's easier, you can hold right here. That way you don't have to worry about it creasing. You stretch it out and then you do your thin line like that. And remember, short strokes is better. You don't have to do one straight line. It's harder that way. So I'll show you how I like the line. All right, so this is our natural look. This is like our everyday basic. Um, I'm just working to the grocery store. Oh, let me just throw on something real quick for work. Just the eyes. Because remember, I'm going to show you now how to transition it into a nighttime going to the club, freak nick type shit. Ooh, I'm trying to edit myself. I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I try, I try, I try. So, this is it. You see, it's just something soft. It's like, oh, she cute. She naturally cute. Yes, I am. Thank you. So, for this look now. So instead of this second one right here, we're going in with this third one. It's a little deeper. So I'm going in with our blush that we apply color with. So that'd be, if you took the class, that'd be your pink brush. Now I'm focusing that darker shade right on our crease. Again, we're gonna start from the out, outside of our eye and then take it to about the halfway point of our eye. Now, use your blending brush and buff that color out. 
Mautara, Itara, Blandisha. Okay, we're going in with our applying brush in this like charcoal color. And this one we want to concentrate more so. Let me zoom in so you can see. This one. Okay, this one we really want to concentrate like right here. Okay, you want to keep it right here in this area. So this is our charcoal color. You want to go a little bit under where we put that um, darker shade that we just applied, but keep it right at the end. Like I can feel the end of my eye. And not taking it as high up. It's not going to be halfway. Maybe like a third. And see, now we're getting that like smoked out look. See, we're darkening it. Darken it up a little bit. Take the blending shade, the blending brush, and you want to buff on the outside part of that black. Of that charcoal color. Because it's not a true black, but it's dark. Alright, we're going to kick this eye up a notch. All right, this one, we're going in with our blending brush, the blue one, because we're gonna do the circular motion, circular motion, on the inside of where we just put this charcoal color, okay? Okay. So we're getting a darker, a darker nighttime look. And I remember some of the girls at the class saying, well shit, I'd wear this in the daytime. Y'all already know how I be looking. The glitz and glam and all that. That is fine. That's what you want to do. I am all for it. But not everyone is, you know, out there like that. As you see, I'm going over the whole eye with this blending brush just to make sure everything's blended evenly. All right, now we're going in with our J. LaRue White Gold. So remember, um, to make less of a mess, we did a little bit on the lid. I don't know if that worked out for you ladies as much because it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of shimmer on the table <laughs> when it was time to clean up. <laughs> but we're using our flat brush. Um, for those of you who don't have it, this is what it looks like. Flat, it's perfect for just like applying this pigment. So remember, we're just touching the brush in it. And now we're going over our lid. All right, so now that our white gold pigment is on, we are going in with our clear lash glue. Um, I like to use this glue when I'm working with chunkier glitters or when I'm not putting it over my whole entire lid because it dries clear. So when I go to put glitters on, it's nice and spaced out. Going in like polka dots. The more glue, the more glitter. Uh, again, we're using that um, flat brush, so you want to tap where you put some of that glue at, and now go in with your glitter and apply it like that. You know, this glitter I'm using doesn't have as many big chunks as I would like, so I'm going in with it. I'm going to get another chunkier glitter by the same brand our polka dots and I'm gonna start silvering the front of my lid touch to get some silver. you see the difference the big chunks make I love theirs because they have like stars and moon shapes and everything like yeah, that's the goal. That's what I was going for. More polka dots. Such 
shit. You know, I'll just do silver. I'll just do silver. I'm not gonna be extra. <laughs> on my eyes oh, I just feel like life is complete you feel me you figure deal me so this is a silver that I'm using everyone had a silver glitter in their kit you see the difference I told you I was kicking shit up kicking shit up all right I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye okay all right now we're so sparkly oh my god i just want to scream i love sparkles y'all know i love sparkles okay so to get rid of some of this um fallout that we had remember we're gonna take a uh, makeup wipe or baby wipes work and we're just gonna put our finger like this and clean up under our eye if your um eyeshadow went down a little bit past your eye we're gonna clean that up as well let's take it straight in your kits, you also have a pencil eyeliner. I don't know if you guys use the pencil liner for the bottom, but it, it's also good for nighttime. Cause like I said, we're going darker. All right, you just want to really focus this right on your lash line. It's the best way I can describe it. All right, you can use the brush that you apply the um, shadow with, and we're just gonna buff out this um, bottom. This part is completely optional. Y'all know I'm extra, so there's that. So our eyes are done. Now we're going in with our toner, our face toner. All right, now we're going in with a face primer. I like to use, um, I'm currently going back and forth between the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and then the Tarte Matte and Poreless Primer. Those are like my two faves right now. So right now I'm using <laughs> Bella. Chill out, sis. It was a bad. Alright, so this is the Tarte Matte and Poreless. This is gonna help our makeup stay on, make it stay on longer, make it stay matte. Put a nice little barrier between our skin and then the makeup. Helps prevent breakouts, clog pores, all that good shit, okay? Now with our Milk of Magnesia, you might wanna shake it up because it is mixed. Putting it on a cotton swab. to use my foundation on this so I'll apply a little here that way I'm not applying too much you feel me so we're going in with the orange brush that was in the kit now when applying the foundation the liquid foundation with the brush I'm really like pressing the foundation into my skin with the brush like I'm not wiping it or anything I'm just like dabbing it like a dab type motion to press the makeup into the skin like we want it to look like our skin oh how could i forget in the class i'm saying here like why my brows look crazy at the top sorry so that flat brush <laughs> we're using that to clean up our brows right here look it's gonna make blending is so much easier i was wondering why i was looking freaking ridiculous Now I know I look orange, <laughs> don't be alarmed. This is how, I like my foundations to have like a warm undertone. So this is what I look like before it's finished. Trust me, it's gonna all come together. Don't roast me up now. Now we're going in with our concealer. You can put it back on your uh, tray if you'd like. Um, I'm doing my own, this is my stuff, so I'm putting it right on my face. Yeah. 
I like to go a little bit lighter under my eyes, so I'm gonna add just a little bit. So we're gonna use this flat brush that came with our kit. So this is a concealer brush. Now we're gonna use our wedges, or if you have a beauty blender, you can use that. Or um, I like to use this brush. That's how I like, that's how I prefer. I'm just gonna use the wedge for right here under my eye so I can get in this corner and blend out any creases. Now I just like to use the same brush that I used to apply the foundation to blend everything because I feel like the foundation is still on there so when I go to blend it out, it blends better. Like in my head, it makes everything to come together. Okay, that's just me. You don't have to use the same brush. If you have a different one, go ahead. If you wanna use a beauty blender, do your thing. All right, now we're going in with a contour since our highlighting is done. So, I like contour with stick. All right, so you're gonna take your contour from the top of your ear and go down about halfway down your cheek. And then we're blending out with the same brush. Mm -hmm. Little circular motions. And you don't want to brush down. You want to make sure we're doing circular motions up. Because that's the point of contour. We want to lift our face up, make everything look like like that. On the forehead, we're blending down because we want to make it seem like I have a small forehead. Even though I already pulled my wig down. So there's that. That same flat brush that we use for our brows is what I use to contour my nose. I just tap some on the stick and go down the sides of my nose. Now in your kit, you should have had a little um, purple brush. Of course, I don't know where mine is. So that purple brush is what we're gonna use to blend right here. This is just another brush that I have. It's not like that one, but I'm gonna use that to blend this nose. This is almost done. So now I'm going in with the setting powder. Y'all know my fave, AC Cosmetics. I'm in the shade Butternut Beige. Shout out to our makeup, uh, our Slate Cam sponsor, AC Cosmetics. She came through the clutch and I'm just so excited because I wanted you all to have the best. And this is really my favorite setting powder of all time. So. What in the cocaine is going on here? <laughs> Psych. I feel like I look like Simba. So we're um, pushing this powder into our skin and then we're gonna brush off the excess. Like you did not have to use as much as I use. I'm just extra, like you can really use like the minimum amount. We're going over everywhere that we put that concealer. I feel like I look cute like this, so there's that. Casting up like a shark and still cool, still cool. We're going with our big fluffy pink brush that was in our makeup kit or just any fluffy brush that you guys have. We're going to use this to brush away our excess. I keep saying excess and I know it's excess, but excess just, I don't know, it just, it just flows a little bit better. Excess. So we're taking off our excess powder with this. I'm going in with our blush. Got a cute little brush like this in our kit. All right, now with our highlight. Now, I like to put the placement of my highlighter or bronzer directly above my blush, kind of almost overlapping it a little bit. You don't have to highlight your nose and lip and stuff like that. Like I said, your cheeks is usually enough. I'm extra, so I'm going in with my nose and cheeks. Um, if you want, you can always take your makeup wipe 
and wipe off any makeup that got on your lips. It makes it way easier when you go to apply your lipstick, lip gloss, okay? Now, is it just me, or does this lip kind of remind you of like a Reese's? Like, you get that peanut butter and chocolate feel? No, just me? I'm fat? Okay, never mind. All right, I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera. <laughs> I hate putting my lashes on on camera. I look so wild. So I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera, and I'll come back and show you guys the final look that we completed at Slip Camp Park. Oh no! All right, and here is our final look. Oh my God, we did it. I'm so hyped. Um, like I said, this is the look that we learned at my Dizzy Slay Camp Part One. It's amazing. So. I wanted to do this because I want everything I do to be beginner friendly. I want it to be easy step by steps for you to learn because once you get into makeup, it's not as hard as you think. It's really easy and it's fun. Like makeup, no matter what, it should be fun for you. And I feel like this is the first beginner fun look. And also for those that went to my sleigh camp or those that couldn't make it to my sleigh camp, I wanted to give them, you know, a step by step of what to do with the materials that they got just in case they forgot because you know we were having fun bitches was swagging we were drinking a little bit i know i had a little sip i saw y'all have a couple sips so this is just like another recap for you guys i wanted to do something for you as like another another thank you oh that blue is oh 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 y'all know that's that light light crush uh pre-colored oh oh okay um back <laughs> but yes i just wanted to do another um thank you for you guys as well as putting some more content on my youtube i'm getting a little noticed guys i'm really excited about it so i just want to be a little bit more consistent for you guys i know i've said this like probably the past three videos but i'm dead ass now okay dead ass serious but um thank you for watching any questions please Leave them below for me. If you want to leave it on here, if you want to ask me anything on my Instagram, you know, it's Dizzy Slay underscore M U A. Make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up on a gang, 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 gang. Don't forget to um, subscribe. And then if you're feeling this, um, feel free to share it. I am having another Slay Camp coming up. Mm, mm, shooting for February. This will be our Valentine's Slay Camp super special edition so be on the lookout for that news as well and thank you for watching i felt like i wasn't that ratchet in this video you know compared to how i wasn't any of the other ones but i felt like you know they did pretty okay babies so i will see you next time